the first package we got was uh, not available for delivery to Spain and um, it was just easier for us to send the second one uh, to our address in uh, the UK. So um, the people at Boatmail very kindly took those parcels in, packed them as one parcel and sent them both across to an address in Spain. So much easier to deal with um, boat mail than trying to actually um, when you when you're ordering we can order from Amazon and have things sent to Spain but putting Spanish addresses in to Amazon has proved so so difficult the the address formats are not um, obvious and clear to me at least and they don't fit nicely into the Amazon um, form when you're putting a new address in anyway um, it was much easier just to put the address on an email and send it to Boatmail so that they could package up both of these parcels, this little pack, and these uh, lovely things. Um, this is uh, the Neos Smart Cam security cameras. There's actually two, two in that box. And this little packet is the electrical... Um, repair kit from these guys, Sergeant. Sergeant um, Wired for Innovation, which I found amusing. Um, <laughs> cause all, all their kit is is uh, pretty pretty old and basic. Well, certainly the the EC um, units. Anyway, so what we got in this little envelope is these things now let's just get those out this is the um, the JST plug one bit this bit goes inside the um, power supply unit and has nine uh, cat wires going through it so uh, three lots of uh, three core cable so um, earth live and neutral go into the into the back of there and then that supplies earth live and neutral to a plug here so um, you get three the three core cable going here and then off to the services so um, that then plugs in and you get it the right way around around that way so this um, as I say this one goes inside and gets fed by the circuit breakers so live and neutral coming off the circuit breaker and a common earth going into each one. And then the three core cables go into here. Now, how do they go in? Well, we use these. Um, these are called JST terminals, JST pins. And they have a male and female uh, version. So... I don't know if you'll be able to see that whether it will focus properly. Uh, they sort of go fit together like that while they're inside the plug. And um, you can see that. Yeah, so you pop the wire in there and then crimp around. Now, JST stands for Japanese solderless terminal. So they're not soldered in. Um, they're just popped in and really crimped hard to keep them in which to be honest I think is probably why the original plug after three years burnt out it it just <clears throat> all of this and I'll show you when I do the repair I'll show you all of this side of it has gone brown and black from the from the heat of the bad connection that's been happening um, on those but anyway so that's that bit <clears throat> just let me that that sort of uh, <laughs> that broke in half while I was talking to you so um, but that's fine because they all come off of there so you snap these you snap these off connect them to a wire and then pop it into they go in in there 
I'm not going to push it in yet because once they're in, you can't really get them out. You can, but it's it's like really, really fiddly because I don't know if you can see the way they are. See these two um, little fins here get they they sort of go in and then lock in place. Anyway, so that's that. We've also got the um, smart cams. Now these are absolutely blooming marvellous as far as I can see. Now I have opened the box um, already and they come they come as a pair. This is one camera. Uh, just let me I'll just open open that up and show you what's in the box. So what you get in the box is um, the camera itself. Here it is. There's a little um, two, two inch, about two inch square cube camera. That's the lens and there's a microphone as well uh, there. And it has this little stand on it so you can, you can set it on a table you can also mount them upside down and spin the there's a there's a settings uh, app so these could be actually mounted under here uh, which I think I might well do uh, probably across the other side where the electrics are because they do need to be powered but they are uh, powered off of a USB cable so standard USB on one end and the um, USB, I think that's a USB-C um, supplies the power to the other end power just pops in the back and that goes into either a USB port or they supply a USB adapter um, I'll just tell you what this provides uh, Output is f uh, five volts at 1,000 1, milliamps. So that just pops in there. Really neat little little plug. Although you know, I'll probably end up uh, fitting that on the other side near the electrics, and then mounting that upside down so it faces the hab door, and then mounting one up the other side so it faces this way. Um, so we get two views of the interior. They also um, they will sense motion and uh, noise. So if if there's a noise inside the van or outside, you and you can actually set the sensitivity of these um, to low. So you know you really need to have a lot of movement or high sensitivity where not much movement or I think it's movement further away um, gets captured so I'm not quite sure how that works just yet but this is uh, that's the camera there also is a a little metal disc that comes with a uh, sticky pad uh, that you stick on there and then peel the other side off and stick that onto the surface where you want to uh, mount the camera now that the bottom of that is magnetic so that goes on there and then you peel that off stick that to where you want to go and then you can mount that camera uh, whichever way you want I think you can you can rotate the image 180 degrees so it's upside down or up the right way you can't you can't stick it on a wall Uh, so that you can rotate the image 90 degrees although it would it would still work and you could sort of post process the image if you if you wanted to capture a lot um, but it's a really neat little bit of kit it comes uh, you have to download the app onto your phone and uh, the, the setup uh, is really really easy there's a little button on the bottom there so that little button there 
uh, and it, it actually will talk to you so you plug it in wait for the green light to flash press the button and it will then say ready to connect and then you use the app and a little trick a uh, little tip if you um, if you're thinking about getting these and there'll be a there'll be a link to the Amazon uh, thing in the description below so uh, do go and buy them um, it will uh, the, the thing will um, talk to you and say ready to connect but you need to have your app set up first so you download the app set it up put in your details register an account so that it knows where to put the captured uh, video and um, then you can set them up and they really are easy to set up what I did find and I have tried to set one of these up already what I did find is that it won't recognize because what I was what I was considering doing is using um, one of our phones to uh, connect it to the internet while we're out um, but it wouldn't recognize the personal hotspot name um, I think it has trouble with spaces in the name because I, I then tried to connect it to our little MiFi, our EE MiFi device which essentially needs replacing because the battery is um, expanding so I need to get a replacement for that but um, it wouldn't recognize that one either because there were spaces it was called my space Wi-Fi space and then some random numbers um, when I shortened that name to just uh, three letters and a number it was um, it connected to it so easy to connect if it recognizes the network name and I think the network name shouldn't have any spaces in so I might just send a report back to Neos um, these are the Neos smart cam you can buy them singly I think they're 25 pounds or 24.99 each pretty good value or you can buy the twin pack which is 49.95 or 48.95 something like that 49.95 50 quid so essentially they're 25 pounds each um, and they come uh, they come each each little box comes with a camera uh, USB cable and a, and a plug-in adapter and instructions so really easy instructions uh, to get them set up so we're gonna be uh, able to see what's going on inside the van if anything while we're out and about because they are internet connected and if it senses movement in the van so if somebody gets in it will send me a an alert and a I think it's a five second uh, capture of that movement and it'll it'll just keep sending that movement uh, every time that happens so um, that's it's a really really good feature you can watch uh, the interior of your van live so you can watch each camera live if you want to so if there's movement you can then switch the camera to live um, so you can see and then you can record everything that happens uh, and more importantly it alerting you that somebody uh, unwanted is in your property in our case in our van so it will give us a chance to um, alert the police um, you know make sure that we're tracking the van and so on and so on so so really really uh, good stuff anyway that's a um, little unboxing we're we've got a beautiful sunny day again today so we're off out to Almaneca today so we'll see you again tomorrow thanks so much for watching and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this subscribe click the bell icon and make sure you switch on all the notifications so that we can send you a reminder for whenever we upload a new video and don't forget that link for the cameras if you want to buy them is in the 
description below. Uh, we do get a little payment if you buy them from that link. Doesn't cost you any more, but there you go. Anyway, thanks so much again. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.